So, I can't believe that I'm actually saying this, but I've actually been dragged into more drama. Actually, this isn't even worth doing the fucking joke about pirating fucking Moist Critical's content. It's not even worth doing the joke. Bro, it's not worth the effort. So, let me bring you up to speed about what's going on in my life. Um, apparently I have drama with ADP. I didn't realise you could have drama with someone who's irrelevant, but here you go, I'm doing it. I thought drama required relevancy, but it's, it's happening. So he's recently made a video which is mostly just Overwatch gameplay and Fortnite gameplay. He talks about me for about three and a half minutes, and then the rest of his video is just Overwatch footage to try and get just up to the eight minute mark. Um, I think it's kind of weird. I don't even think that it's worth doing that because since he's not monetized, it's no reason to get to the eight minute mark. But we'll ignore that dumbass kind of confusion and just take a look at the video. I'm going to show you guys some of the highlights and I'm just going to deconstruct and basically humiliate this idiot as we disprove everything that he states. Hey guys, welcome to my slop. Today I'm going to be explaining some new controversy between me and Davey. He's a small channel, probably none of you have ever heard of. He's like only got 500 subs, he's kind of irrelevant really. But he recently said like, I just cannot stand for. So recently, he's made a video saying thanks for the watch time, where he was taking advantage and milking my Discord, I mean our Discord server, to get money out of it. Now. This is truly disgusting behavior. You would never do this to people you respect. So, here's what happened. So the first thing he says is that I'm milking his Discord. That is absolutely false. I have never used his Discord for content. Admittedly, some of my content is pretty lazy. Sometimes I watch a Moist Critical video and I'll think, Oh, that's a good topic. I should make a short summary about that. Sometimes I see something come up in YouTube recommendations like Master Uruguay and I'll make like a two minute video talking about it. Admittedly, my content isn't always five star quality. Even in my early days, it took me ages to get used to the sound of my own voice. To the point where I hated my own voice so much that I wouldn't edit my videos properly. I just cut a couple of segments out and go, fuck it, it's two hours instead of three hours, good enough, and post it. Now I actually edit my content, which is why I get 15 minute, 20 minute videos. The content's still absolutely shit. The effort is a lot more invested than it used to be. But I do not milk his Discord for content. The reason why I did this is that I saw them complaining on Discord and thought, oh, this would be really funny to just point and laugh at these guys for a few minutes. And it was and kind of still is pretty funny. We had a peaceful conversation regarding the fact that his channel is devolving into Moist Critical too. The next thing he says is that we had a peaceful conversation where we discussed the issues. We did not. That screenshot which I used in my thumbnail is the quote unquote peaceful conversation. I wasn't even a part of it. He just randomly started to talk and someone in general. And he started saying, oh yeah, this Davey guy, he's pirating just Moist Critical content. He's just a clone of Moist Critical. And the other person's like, yeah, his content's terrible, and just, just falls and backwards like that. There's no peace in it, and it wasn't a conversation either. I don't know how I can be a part of a conversation if I'm not a part of the conversation. I don't know how else to clarify that one, but... Yeah, so that's also a little bit of bullshit. And he, can, he has the audacity to complain when I invite my stream viewers to the Discord server to give them access to the, the, to the bots there. Now, truly... I am disgusted by what this man is saying. He then complains he invites to people to his server. Well, firstly, these are all annoying small children from his Fortnite streams. Um, that has always been the opposite of what I want my audience to be. And you could give the complaint that actually it's his server. Well, no, I am the server owner. He transferred me ownership. Along with that, he told me that he made the server for me. I also have my own role. I don't see an ADP role, I do see a Davy role. You know, it's a bit I don't I don't see his face in the server icon, I see mine. I, uh, yeah. I think that makes it my server. 
yes, he made it, but he gave it to me and made it for me, so... Eh. I even bribe him on a regular basis, but that's not part of the... That's not relevant to the current conversation. But the point is, he is extremely ungrateful. He then claims that he bribes me on a regular basis. This is half true. Back in the day, he used to bribe me by donating, like, two subs to my Twitch. But that's just because he hates ads. Now, I could say that recently, he's bribed me with giving me Legos. But that's also not true. Because the Legos is part of a deal where he's given me those. And in return, I am building and going to give to him this classic Lego system set. So, you know, it's, I don't know if that really counts as bribery. That's more just a deal which is halfway complete. Uh, if anyone's about to say, oh, you shouldn't have taken his side before you had your side ready, I didn't pitch that. I We came up with the deal, and we didn't decide on a time. ADP was just like, okay, so you free Monday, I'll give you the Legos. I was like, I'm not good. No, he said Friday, sorry. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not going to be ready. And he was like, okay, I'll give them to you on Monday. He didn't really ask for his side in return at the same time, so that's the reason why it's a half-complete deal, but again, I don't think that's quite bribery. I'm not sure what bribery could be, maybe it's the two subs he gave me a year ago. No, on the allegations, he's accused me of being a bigger moist clone than he has. I'm sorry, when have I ever copied moist critical? This is clearly slop life. Slop Live is a quality streaming service where I tell you literally nothing of value and take your time up for no reason. Now, he does claim that I called him a Moist Critical clone. However, this again is a bit of a fallacy. I said he looks like a Moist Critical clone. Because of his long hair, I once compared him to Moist Critical. I never said that his content is a clone of Moist Critical. There's a very big difference between the two. You see... I wasn't saying that your content was shit, I was saying that you look like shit. And I cannot stand for this 8 minute egregious bullshit he does. Oh fuck, there goes my ad revenue, uh, uh, my 1% of child audience is gonna be gone now. Oh quick, um, please like and subscribe, I'm gonna post some, I'm gonna put the screenshots up on the um, screen now. He also claims he has a 1% child audience, this is absolute cap, 90% of his content is shit posts, and the remaining 10% is Fortnite streams. There might be a 2% taken out of the shit posts done for Overwatch streams, but it's majority of his original content is Fortnite content, and he's often playing the game surrounded by small children. Which you can expect, Fortnite is a kid's game, there's nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing wrong with children either, I just don't want my content to revolve around children. And the point I've always made is that his content always feels like it revolves around children. So, the 1% child audience statement, I feel like he's just trying to hide the fact that his majority of an audience is children because he feels some kind of shame for it. But I don't know how that's an insult towards me. Yeah, thanks. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, do, you want, do you want to just like audio or do you want like video as well? Okay. I can't believe you'd milk this for an 8 minute video. Guys, can you believe it? Can you believe what he said in that server? It disgusts me that I am associated with him. I mean, I'm not gonna run away or anything like that, it's kinda of beneficial if I stay in the server. But, can you believe what he says to my valued audience? Truly, this is a gamer moment. Now, truly, this is a gamer moment. It's like a gamer moment? Anyway, enjoy the outro. This is what Davey looks like in real life. Yeah, that's it. The rest of this video is just Overwatch gameplay to reach the 8 minute mark. I didn't watch it, I just scrolled through it. But it seems like it's all just Overwatch content to reach the 8 minute mark. He doesn't say anything more in it, so I'm pretty sure that's the end of his kind of statement on his side. Um, I'd like to start by saying that was pathetic, and I feel sorry for your viewers. Specifically the 12 people who actually watched that video. How come your channel is 3 times the size of mine, and yet you get 3 times less the amount of views? on an average video. Unless you're making a shit post, or you're live on a game where you're giving stuff to people, like when you're playing Save the World and you're either carrying people through dungeons or giving them stuff in normal Save the World missions, 
you basically seem unable to gain any viewer retention. But it's fine, it's what you expect from someone who's never edited one of their own videos in their life. Well, at least I can say that that sentence is wrong, because you did edit this on Share Factory on PlayStation. Again, it's you know it's about the same kind of level as using CapCut. It's kind of mid-quality. I don't exactly use a dome, a dome, a dome, a dome. I don't exactly use Adobe, but I could. I just don't like that software and use a simpler version, VideoPad. It's basically the same software, just simplified and not a horrific mess to try and work through. Sure, it's missing some of the features, but it's features which I rarely use, so I have no real loss. I'm unsure what to say at this point. I want to insult you in some way, but your console, your content is enough of an insult to your viewers' ears that I don't know how I can top that. I'm honestly unsure how I can top the crippling depression which is enveloped into someone's brain just by watching your videos. I'm I'm speechless, honestly. I'm stumbling my words trying to figure out what to say to you at this point. Um, I'm disappointed. Do better. Yeah.